know about you, Meg. Before you went to university, you were a nice, clean-cut kid, but uh, you know all about tiddlywinks and everything. You don't just fool around at my school, Buster. This rug's too sick for tiddlywinks. Well, I don't think this rug was meant for tiddlywinks. What's a nice, pretty young girl like you? Maybe something nice later. <laughs> Look, what do you want me to do, Meg? I told you, it's not my affair. Getting awfully late. So, this is what you mean, the, the nice thing that might happen later? Yes. It's much nicer than my spitting right in your eye. The chief ain't coming back no more. I know, Sam. But what I have to know from you is, why did he kill himself? Because Kettner didn't have no guts, that's why. That lily Why did you move the gun, Sam? The chief told me I should, if anything went wrong. If Kettner was too chicken, he said I should. Will you join me in a drink? Hmm? Oh, no. No, uh, Sam, we, uh, we have to take a little trip now to the police station. To the police? Yeah. I thought you were my friend, Mr. King. Not today, Sam. <laughs> Not twice, Sam. Not twice. She's dead. Are you thinking what I think? Don't you start thinking. It'll just waste time. Get this cover off. That kid knows. I doubt it. I don't think he saw what happened. So it doesn't make any difference. It could make a lot of difference if things go wrong. Just a couple turn on this on. Let me do the thinking. It's a lot safer. We are not safe with that kid around here. We are a lot safer with a live kid who can do us no harm than a dead one who might send us to the pen for the rest of our lives. It's Miss McIver. There's nothing continental or attached about me. Miss McIver, have you any idea about Predo? Did he go to the United States? T Timbuktu, the States. I don't have the foggiest. He came in one afternoon, packed his two bags, gave me an envelope, said his goodbye and ta, and drove off in that machine. Well, that girl. That girl that came by that day to fetch him. Oh, now, I, I didn't see her, but she was no a Scots girl, I can tell you that. <laughs> Wait till the buyers see the stuff I'm selling. <laughs> the greatest. I'll take them into the bar, buy them a couple of shots and soften them up. Now, sir, <laughs> come on, Charlie, get up here. Come wait, on. Wait, wait, oh. wait. What? Take a look what I got in this sample case. <laughs> oh, ladies and kiddies, but the best that money can buy. No. It's a knockout load of goods, all right, Charlie. Come on. Yeah, look, look at this union suit. Smooth. <laughs> kiddies hardly know they got it on. <laughs> and the buttons, it'll last forever. Desertion? Where well, the man's only been missing for a few hours. Come on, Frank, what is this? Well, the captain's gone out to Montreal. The chief engineer has given the orders. Me, I obey them. He's been on his back day after day during the last voyage. Persecution's a strong word, but here it fits. Are you suggesting that Hans Kettner was pushed into going absent? Well, you, you have to understand the setup. There's only engineering officers aboard, plus the oilers. They've been working close to the limit to ready the ship for the winter layup. The atmosphere is electric sometimes. There are slip-ups and accidents. And all the while, Ballantyre is bearing down on her. Yeah? Oh, hi, Nikki. You're late. Yeah, I know. I got caught up down on the docks. So, uh, what looks good? Oh, I saved you this pair. Thanks. 
Say, that uh, kid brother of yours, you know, he shouldn't be playing down in the docks. Was he there today? Yeah, but I sent him home. It's Dad. He's driving a truck, dumping Phil at the end of the turning basin. Well, he takes Billy there with him and leaves him to play around and then picks him up two or three trips later. Well, be a good girl and tell him not to. But look, I tell you what. This weekend, I'll, uh, I'll take you and Billy out to the country and he can get all the exercise he wants, all right? And uh, you and I, we can, uh, we can talk about politics. That'd be nice. All right, so Dave? All right, I'll call you later. Please do. Love politics. Thank <laughs> you.